Hi, this is Yuri. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you some methods which are really useful if you would like to build the content of our file by using existing pieces. Depending on the places where the pieces are, MC Edit provides several approaches to duplicate or reuse our previously written text. So let's get started. First, I will show you a slightly different way to modify the key maps in MC. If you do not have rights to modify this MC key map file, or we do not want to set up things at system level, we could copy this file to our home directory under .config mc. Be careful, because this file is actually a symlink, so we have to copy the file which is pointed by this symlink. After the copy, we have to rename the file. If we give another name, MC will not load it. We are going to search, so to be sure that the cursor is at the top of the file, I press page up. I'm going to set up three very useful things. Mark word, to be able to select the word on which the cursor is. The combinations which make possible to indent multiple lines. They are really useful if we are using the Python programming language, for example. And the word completion. Ok, start MC edit by pressing Shift F4, which creates a new file. I usually make some more additional settings, but I will show you now. Ok, restart MC to load the modified settings. And try what we have. If we have a duck, and a fish, we can indent its lines. If you want to have another duck, enough to press D and then control space. We can select a word, and copy or duplicate the selection with F5. So again, completion works by default for words that are appeared in the text above the cursor, and with the help of the selection we can duplicate every part of this file. In this case, completion works also as we expected. These are the methods that we could use inside a file. To copy between different files in MC, we could use the clip files by pressing Ctrl F we could think of it as a sort of clipboard. If we open another file, we could insert the content of the clip file by pressing Shift F5. Type something else and save it to an another clip file. So basically we could have as many clipboards as we wish. If we open a file, we can insert from both places. Of course, if we insert the clip file, 
it will appear in the history. So we do not have to type all the time. Yes, it's really similar to the approach when we cut a file and insert the cat's output. Beside of these methods, you could always use the flipboard provided by your X window system if you have. So these were the approaches that we could use to duplicate text between files. I hope you enjoyed it and you will follow me when I will talk about the user menu where, for example, we could store our frequency-used pre-typed text. Thank you for your time. Goodbye.